Look at this beauty. So amazing, so breathtaking, so relaxing. People from Bulawayo have never been here. People from Zimbabwe have never been, never been to Great Zimbabwe, never been to Nyanga, never been to Victoria Falls. But they have been to Asia. They have been to Europe. Why not travel within the country? Why not get to explore the beauty we have within our land? Go out there, travel, feel inspired. I am inspired. Go out there, go live your life, go learn something new. And whenever you are exploring, make sure you choose Africa. But within Africa, we go to a country called Zimbabwe, the house of stone. I'm currently standing on top of a stone and I just want to welcome you all to Zimbabwe. And it's time for Africans to change their ways because this continent belongs to Africans. This Zimbabwe that you've seen belongs to Zimbabweans. And it's time for each and every Zimbabwean to explore and experience their own country. Trust me, this is my first time in Zimbabwe and I'm just gonna let you guys know that you got the best country in the whole world. Your country's natural beauty is beyond so many countries that I've been to. I'm not talking about infrastructures. I'm not a big fan of talking about skyscrapers. I'm talking about the country in its natural form. call this place House of Stones and if you go to Great Zimbabwe, if you go to Kami Ruins, as a Zimbabwean you should always know that you are superior not inferior because if your ancestors were able to build that with no mortar it's time for you to travel your own country my brother. <laughs> Because the bed is so comfortable and my surrounding looks so peaceful and serene and I just don't want to wake up I just don't want to wake up Zimbabwe has been one of my best trip ever despite all the challenges I repeat once again wherever there are challenges there are opportunities so don't give up on Zimbabwe just like the way I never gave up on Zimbabwe um, I slept very late and I woke up very early I'm currently at Matobo Hill Lodge right here at Matobo's National Park it's been a good sleep where I found myself this morning it's a blessing to be from Africa bro it's a blessing to be from Africa look at that I don't even I can't even count the number of times I've spent time in the woods and this is the best place for you because there's no internet here you can only use internet when you go to the conference hall in here but in your room no internet so when you are coming here you don't need disturbance you just have to disconnect yourself from the world look at me waking up in the woods jeez like look at my surroundings i'm definitely going to take you guys around the national park probably we might see some few animals together you know this is one of the things that i always tell africans you have to go out there go live your life go explore you know and um Listen, I mean, some of you think that we live with animals. Yeah, you can only live with animals when you stay in places like this. And I love it. I mean, being surrounded by nature, being surrounded by trees, being surrounded by animals is one of the best things ever. And that is why so many people pay so much money just to come and experience this. But this is right here in our backyard. As Africans, why don't we take advantage of it? Whoa, just take a look at where I am. So this is one of the chalets. This is where my guys are staying, um, Steven and Job. Um, and this is the walkway. It's more like a walk path to 
the reception and also the swimming pool and the conference center so this oh my god look at that i don't think this camera can make you see what i'm talking about indeed zimbabwe is a house of stones i've never seen so many stones concentrated at one particular place in any country that i've been to so when they say zimbabwe is the house of stones now i know why just take a look at this these are all granites these are all granite we've been surrounded by granites everywhere whoa this is beautiful i don't know have you ever spend a night in here let me know how you felt when you spent a night in here or you in spite of spending a night in here after this video let's take a look at that this is so beautiful they actually built with stones though you see you see the architecture they built with stones and they still got some down there apparently they got 18 chalets in here and I love the fact that when you go to places like that, they don't take advantage of the environment by building so many chalets. 17, 18 people in a particular place. That's amazing because this is not a city. This is um, beyond the city. So you cannot build as if you are living in the city. Oh, this is beautiful, bro. So this is the conference area that I I was telling you about and right here is a swimming pool beautiful. it's so beautiful I think this is the dining area whoa whoa I can't believe this I just can't believe this man wow Bro, bro, you gotta travel, man. Gotta travel and experience Africa, bro. Because I don't even know how this camera will do justice to what I'm seeing. It's a blessing to be from Africa, man. Whoa. Whoa. Look at, look at that. Just take a look at that. Jeez. Imagine waking up here every single day fresh air fresh environment everything that you breathe in is so fresh you eat fresh food i i, I think you will live so long you don't think so now this is why africans living in a village settings like this always grow older than those that live in the city because they don't take in any chemicals everything that they eat is so organic should i say i also want to build a house in here because I want to live longer, you know, to see Africans traveling within Africa. That's all I want to achieve. That's all I want to live to see. Look at the view, man. Absolutely breathtaking. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And the way you see the granite rocks on top of each other, it makes me feel like why are people saying God does not exist? Because it's only God who can do this. I'm so happy. You know why? Because I got sunrise directly on my face. Whoa! I mean, have you seen that? Sunrise in between mountains. That is so breathtaking, man. I feel like this country got a lot to share to the world, man. And it only takes the people of the country to tell their own stories. No one will ever come and tell your stories for you. I am just doing 1% of the 100%. And I believe that the people of Zimbabwe will take the mantle and continue from where I left. You guys got a very beautiful country and i don't know if it's allowed for me to get my zimbabwean passport so that i'll be proud to say that i'm from zimbabwe um, we welcome you to matopo hills 
Okay. And you have so many people who call this place Matopos. I, I was wondering what is the difference between Matobo and Matopos? <laughs> yeah, um, so Matobo is plural, mm. it means the bold rocks. What happened when we had the first Bantu settlers in the area? Mm -hmm. These were the Kalangas, or one of the first Bantu settlers in the area, these were the Kalangas. They called this place Madombo, mm. which translated to the bold rocks. And then over the years, as we had the Rosu people coming in from the eastern parts of Zimbabwe, venturing to these ends, looking for greener pastures, looking for uh, better places that they could inhabit, mm. they then called these places Madombo, which okay. also means the rocks, the bold rocks. So Matopos is wrong? Is wrong. I'm so sorry for calling this place Matopos all the time. No, it's alright. It's alright to hear, no? <laughs> now you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, one tends to wonder, how did this come to <laughs> be like this? Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, um, when we are going back to uh, geography, mm. just basic geography, yeah. uh, when the temperatures drop at night, Yeah the rock contracts. When the temperatures uh, rise, the rock expands. So that contraction and expanding of the rock leads to the rock opening and closing. Mm -hmm. Expanding and contracting, and which then entails that it will end up cracking. Yeah. Then we have periods whereby we have the rainy season. As we have the rainy season, the water drops into those cracks. And at night when the temperatures drop, the, uh, the water freezes. During the day when the temperatures uh, go up, it melts, opening those, um, those cracks. Yeah. And that leads to the fragments falling into those cracks, you end up having soil or sand. Yeah. After having that sand, you then happen to have a bed that comes in there, drops its um, droppings there. And at the time that you have eaten a fruit, the seeds yeah. go in there, and as it rains, it germinates. After germinating, you then have a tree that is referred to as the rock cracker, the fig tree. So these rocks are referred to as uh, gong rocks. They're quite hollow. They are hollow inside. I will bang the rock against that. Then you want you to feel or sense where it's more hollow than the other. There's a hole here. Yes. So you can imagine over the years, due to weathering, um, it will be peeling off, leaving these kinds of pit holes. But why the huts? Um, there's so many uh, shaped like, uh, like huts as we're going up. Wow. I'm also sure whether it's, um, it's, a, it's a way of nature telling us that we have to love one another or we have to love nature itself. Mm. We're not really sure. Mm. But it so happened that this became so distinct. And this is one of the most distinct uh, structures you might have within the area. As we're going up, you'll be seeing quite a number, but this is the one that stands out. But what I'm afraid is, afraid of is in a few years, let's just say 100 years from now, this will close. close. And then that will fall off, which will then form another or take another shape. It. Yep. Yeah, that is Madinditsimu. That's where Sir John Rose chose to actually have his remains brought to. And that is where his gravesite is. Yeah. Madinditsimu is a very spiritual place for many people who have inhabited this place. Hmm. And Madid Madinditsimu translates to the resting place of benevolent spirits. People would go up there to have rituals. People go out there to have just um, uh, um, a connection yeah, uh, with, with their you. spirits, with harmony, with nature and all that. Mm. And whenever they were up there, they would admire the sunset, they would admire yeah. the sunrise, they would admire the moonrise. It was a perfect spot for them. And so it happened that Sister John Rhodes, since he was becoming a spiritual a mm. person, he knew very well that his heart belonged there. 
he admired the panoramic view you get whenever you're up there. He also admired the, the loneliness of that place. Mm. And this is when he says, if I'm to die, I want to be buried there. But he doesn't belong there. He doesn't belong there. Yeah, he, he doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't belong there. He, he just felt like being part of the ancestors, but he can never be on our ancestor. Whenever people are hiking, they usually leave a trail of stones as they're going up. It serves as an indicator that this is where paths so don't get lost. Okay. Then here in Matopos, we place these stones to show where one quits. One? Quits, decides on giving up. So these are the number of people who decided on giving up here. Okay. And not because um, they were too lazy, some had um, health issues, issues and they ju just wanted to give it a try, but okay. were failing to do that. Okay. Some really were crazy to an extent that whenever they're hiking here, they're hiking without the proper shoes. Like <laughs> me. Like me. <laughs> yeah. So um, most of them quit because they couldn't make it up there. And some who hike here alone, they don't know why we have this. So as they're hiking, they just grab a stone and place it there and they continue with their hike. I'm gonna make it to the top. Sometimes I wonder, yeah? <laughs> How did these huge rocks form? Formed. I mean, were they dropped from heaven straight to the ground? All right. So, um, the forming of these rocks took millions and millions of years. These are granite rocks. Mm. A granite rocks are igneous rocks. We have two types of igneous rocks. We have the intrusive igneous rocks and then we have the extrusive igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks are rocks which, foot, which formed beneath the Earth's surface. I want you to notice the comparison yeah. of the rock when we are here and of the rock when we are now up there. Pay attention to that. This is referred to as the resurrection plant or the Lazarus from the Bible plant. <laughs> Lazarus plant. Um, the name is as a result of it, whenever it's put in water, in a few hours it turns green. Mm. It appears dead, but the moment you have it in water, it just turns green. Within, this... within four hours, approximately, around that time. Mm. And the moment there is no water, because it grows on thin soil, it loses much water as well, it dries up again. So it dies and resurrects, and hence the name, the resurrection plant. But Lazarus never resurrected. So it should be called Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the Jesus plant. The Jesus. <laughs> So this particular plant helped us a lot. If you're to rub against your hands and smell, let me know what you think it smells like. Rub it? Yeah, rub it. Yeah, that's enough. And smell. It has a very good smell. Uh-huh. But I'm just trying to figure out where have I smelled this before? Some will say it's, it's like eucalyptus. Some will say like Vicks. Some will say like rosemary. Yep. No, I would say it's rosemary. Go to rosemary. It's like for cooking. Um, as a, as a, as a, this is a cooking ingredient. Um, here in Matopos, we drink mm. it as a tea. Mm, we refer to so this good. as the Bushman tea. Can you guys smell it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> just, just, just smell it. Mm. We refer to it as the resurrection uh, bush or the Jesus. Bushman tea. Or the Bushman yeah. tea. It helped us a lot during the COVID period. Oh. Whenever one felt like they had a, a sore throat, they had a flu, mm. they had a fever, mm. we would take that and put it in a cup, pour very, very hot water and drink. That's it. Or at times, steam with it. Put uh, some of that in a in a in a in a, a bucket. Uh, pour very very water, hot water. Uh, oh. Cover yourself with a towel or a cloth. Then you steam. You have this here too. We, we do that here. Steaming is also done here. Africa is home for Africans. <laughs> Yo, 
Yo. <laughs> I'm not even up there yet. But the view from here is breathtaking, man. I'll say what this once again. Zimbabwe, it's natural beauty is underrated. What? Are we still going up? We are. We are. <laughs> How many minutes more? Um, we are close to halfway. We are close to halfway. We are close to halfway. We will get there in a moment. Uh, but as we're going up there, we want us to be making all these stops to absorb this beauty, to absorb the fun of all this. How will you describe this beauty that you've seen with your naked eyes? This is just um, God given. It's breathtaking. Um, if you're not well traveled, you never understand yes. this kind of beauty. Yes. But it takes one to hmm. be very well traveled to actually understand what's really happening out here. And the view gets better as we go up. So you'll see what I'm referring to when we get up there. This is magical, bro. And it's not surprising why um, someone as iconic as Sisu Chondos would have chosen this particular site to have his remains replaced. I feel like putting my feet on the ground because I feel so connected whilst my feet is on the ground. Is it, is it okay? Is it allowed? Yes, it is. Is it safe? It, 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 for my it, legs? Um, no, I mean, I was born in a village. I'm good. Are we passing the same place down? Yes, we are. I want to leave my slippers here. Sure you can. And then walk barefooted. Sure you can. Because I really want to connect with nature. Yes. Can, can we, let, let, let's just go. That tree there. See the big tree, the very, very yep. big tree. Yep. That tree is referred to as the fig tree. And what you're standing on are the tap roots of that tree. Yeah. Really? This year. This year. And the tree is over there. The tree is over there. What does it show you? It tells you that that tree is actually fighting for life. The tap roots have to go all the way down to where water is. And life is a struggle for humans, for animals, as well as the plant life. And whenever you feel like quitting, remember that there's a tree out there that really needs to survive. So who are you to actually want to quit <laughs> when you have plant life wanting to survive? And they are trying to survive in rocky environment and when they survive they're providing fruits for you to eat yep so as hard as life may seem hmm. always keep on pushing hmm. know that someone is dependent on you directly or indirectly someone definitely is dependent on you so this is my relation to that tree whenever i decide on quitting i always think about that tree and say i have to keep on pushing for that never give up Never give up. Keep moving. Keep moving. This is the fun of it, the danger. Ah, ah, don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me, bro. <laughs> hey, it's your shoe, eh? Yeah, it's the shoe, it's the shoe, it's the shoe. And Wait. as well, as well, me getting Whoa. used to all this, every day doing this. there go live your life go learn something new and whenever you're exploring make sure you choose africa but within africa we go to the country called zimbabwe the house of stone i'm currently standing on top of a stone and i just want to welcome you all to zimbabwe you've done it um, um, it's almost eight tenths of the world trip. So we're here to see the end and the view there is spectacular. We have different kinds of view. We have the view that um, oversees the other end where the sun sets and the one that oversees the lodge. It's spectacular. Fantastic. Whoa, is that the final view? Huh? No way! No way! I made it up here. How many minutes? Four minutes away. Four minutes away? Are you kidding me? 
Whoa! But well, still amazing up here, huh? No! I feel like even being here is enough for me. <laughs> being here is enough for me. Man, God bless Africa, bro. I want to say this, man. Zimbabwe is not what I expected. And I hope and believe that the people of Zimbabwe will actually take it upon themselves to put their country on the map. I know no country is perfect. I know the country is going through a lot in terms of economics, but I'm not an economist, my brother. I'm the guy who travels to show you the beauty that we don't see on the media, to show you the Africa that you all need to be proud of. I mean, if you are from Zimbabwe, you just have to know that you have a beautiful country. And I just want to say this. I think I need a Zimbabwean passport. Yeah. <laughs> I need a Zimbabwean passport. I want to be part of you guys, man. What? You You're not even there yet. yet. Not, not, not there yet. Not there yet. You are approaching the promised land. You are approaching the promised land. I love that. <laughs> we really need to actually put Africa on the map. Hmm. Put Africa on the map regardless of what's been said out there. Thank you. Regardless of what people think out there. Thank you. We have to make people realize that there's a beauty, a hidden beauty that people need to explore. Hmm. And whenever people talk about uh, Africa, yeah. talk about um, Zimbabwe, hmm. you think about the, the political structure. Thank you. You think about the, um, the wildlife structure. And whenever you think about the wildlife structure, you'll be thinking about the animals. But look at this beauty. Yeah. You're forgetting the, the cultural hmm. elements of this place. This is what keeps us going. Wow. And through that, we know that we have a better uh, chance of um, being united as an African uh, people. And it's very important if we unite as Africans. Because if we don't unite, I mean, there will always be divide and conquer. But yeah. being here as someone from Ghana, and listen to the story of Zimbabwe yeah, from yeah. a Zimbabwean yes, yes. makes a unique difference. Yeah, very true. I just want to see my final view, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, I, I really want to grab a stone. Uh, yeah. And I need a big stone. Ah, yes. I need a big stone. Yes. 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 <laughs> But, Finally! But this is not the last point. What do you mean? I'll show you the last point. <laughs> but for now, you place your stone there to show that you are among these people who got up here. Yo! Kai! I'm heading to the top, bro! I'm heading to the top! Yeah! Spectacular! I'm so sorry, man. Was it I'm worth shouting it? a lot. More than worth it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will just show you real quick the last point. But this is only if you think you have the guts to go for it. I'll demonstrate. If you think you have the guts to go for it, then you follow. Okay. Right. Can't believe I've added my stone to the number of people who have climbed up here. And I want to challenge all Zimbabweans. Can you just pick up a stone and come and add it to my stone? It's a challenge. And I want you to accept this challenge. You accept this challenge by putting... I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I... No, no, no! no, no, no. Look at the guy! No way! That is no, 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 no. This I place is enough for me. I'm daring you all to come with a stone and just add the stone in here. But you're brave enough, you can go there. But not me. Not me, bro. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so glad I came up here. The view is fantastic. The view is amazing. And it's so worth it, bro. Look at that. God bless Africa. God bless Zimbabwe. God bless Bulawayo. God bless Mato. Thank you. I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to share this video. Subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. My name is Wadamaya, your one and only annoying village boy from Ghana who is on a journey to change the negative narrative about Africa.
Yo, let's sign out. One, two, three, five. Oh, the man, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Grand.